Hi guys, this is a quick video covering the latest mod I have released and that mod is called the Director's Chair for Fallout 3. Now what this mod does is it takes three mods, the Imaginator, Dynavision and Cinematech, and it makes them a lot more user friendly. So for example, uh, with the Imaginator, you can change your settings by going into the Pip-Boy and changing things like the contrasts, you can change the presets, and so on, but you can't see them whilst you're changing them. Um, you've got this big pit boy in the way, and it sometimes takes quite a lot of time. If you want to do small changes to the brightness, you've got to change them here and then go back into game and see the effect and decide if you like it. Now, of course, with the Imaginator, you can also press the zero key and say the eight key on the number pad at the same time and that will of course increase your brightness however you don't know how much you've done it by whereas with the director's chair I press the zero key on the number pad keep my finger on it and as you can see I've got brightness contrast and saturation if I now press the eight key you can see brightness is going up and if I keep my finger on it it keeps climbing and as you can see the game is getting slightly brighter all the time I can do the same with saturation I'm going to increase the saturation by clicking the 9 key at the same time. Now this whole time I've got my finger on the 0 key. And as you can see, the world is getting a little bit more colourful. And same for the contrast if I press 7. <laughs> and if you want to reduce them again, you press the 4 for contrast, the 5 for brightness, and the 6 for saturation. And once you've finished, you take your finger off the zero key, and a few seconds later, this little menu will disappear. There you go. The same is true for the plus icon. If you press the plus icon, it's the plus icon on the number pad. There we go. And if I press 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, or 6, it will increase different colours. So, for example, the 7 increases green, 8 increases red, and so on. The only problem with doing it this way for the tints is you can't reset them from this menu. You need to go into the pit boy, go along to Electro City Imaginator, Tintor, Reset, and then go back. And as soon as you go back, then you'll see it reset. Now obviously that is pretty useful in itself. It's a lot it's a lot nicer to be able to see exactly what your brightness levels are. However, the real power for this mod comes from having a heads-up display menu. What I mean by this is, normally when you change Imaginator, you go to Pip-Boy, say you pick one of the presets, you go along to the Hollywood styles and pick the sickly green. And you can sort of see its effect on the Pip-Boy, but you need to go back into the game to see its effect. And it can take some time to find the effect for you. But with Director's Chair, you press the F7 key, and you get this menu. Now you can still turn, but you cannot move backwards and forwards. Your arrow keys now decide which of these options is chosen. So if I go up to say the sickly sweet greens in my Cinemator style, and now press the left and right arrow keys, I can move through all the different presets. And as you can see, choose the one I like. And once I've chosen the one I like, I press F7. So as you can see, now I'm using ultra cool blue, and this is with Project Reality's lighting, which does desaturate. But you can see with this filter, I get beautiful blue skies. And you can control a lot of different things with this. You can change the Cinematech styles to whatever you want. For example, I like the John Wayne slow stutter. You can also add the film grain effects on the fly. So there's the little bit of static and so on, all the way up to the very cinematic Hollywood heroes. Press F7 and carry on. Now, it's also easy to change the emitter settings. Now, this is something that is quite useful if you like a lot more light. There you go. That's setting, for example. And generally all of the other settings, including the Dynavision so settings and the depth of field setting that comes with the Imaginator. So, for example, the Imaginator has these, oh, that's the soft focus, excuse me, has Horizon Clean. 
And what this is, is basically a static depth of field that is placed on uh, distant objects. Probably better to show you where with a horizon. So here we are with a great horizon from Project Reality. Um, and if I open the menu now, if I go along to the depth of field and put it onto the low setting, that gives a very low blur in the distance. And I can increase it to the highest. And as you can see now, distance objects are uh, blurred, giving this nice, nice atmospheric effect. And you can control it and see the exact effect from this menu, including going to the Dynavision's active depth of field, like so. And you can see the game in real time and decide exactly which blur strength you want, speed, etc. Close the menu, go back, and there you go. And so this is great for if you just get a moment where you want to change the look and feel and you've decided, I want to go for John Wayne's slow stutter. Hollywood Heroes, Dynamic Depth of Field, and that's it. And then carry on playing. For all the different effects you're going to want, you can, con you can control the entire visual look and feel of your game without ever having to open the Pip-Boy. So, whether it's for a quick screenshot or whether you just enjoy changing the light settings depending on your mood or depending on where you are, this mod makes it absolutely easy to change, it's quick to change, uh, and basically gives you total control at your fingertips without all that messing about in the pit boy. Just remember though, <laughs> when you've got this menu open, you can't move and you can't fight. You need to close the menu before you continue playing. And don't worry if you don't want all of these mods that it controls, but you want this nice little menu. Even though you have to have all three mods installed, you don't have to have them active. You can, of course, go along to the film grain, turn it off, and go along to the depth of field and either turn it off or turn it to one of the, um, the static settings. Now I'm using the director's chair and the only thing it's controlling is the imaginator. The other mods are completely inactive and are not taking up any resources. Do not worry, they do not give you a performance drop if they are not active. Although, in fact, the Dynavision Depth of Field mod barely gives you a performance drop anyway. The Cinematech mod, that does have a little bit of a drop depending on which grain you pick. If you pick one of the very heavy grains, it obviously has slightly more effect on your performance. Now, at the time of making this video, I have not uploaded the file to the Nexus website yet, but uh, to install this will be very easy. You will just download with Manager from Nexus onto your Nexus Mod Manager and hit the Activate. And you'll get this little box, click Install, and it will ask you to overwrite some files. Click Yes to All. It's very, very simple. Go to the Plugin section. It is important that the director's chair comes below all of its masters, which is obviously the Fallout ESM, uh, the Imaginator, Cinematech and Dynavision. It must come after those. And it goes without saying that those three mods must be installed. They absolutely must be installed, even if you're not using them all. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy the mod and I hope it makes changing the settings in these three mods a little easier for you. Um, and good luck and enjoy! I just want to start